trail test. Time trial, same trail, every wheel, how fast does it go? First wheel is the S19, this is the next one. I'm not feeling confident about it, and I'll explain why as I ride. Ready? Three, two, one, go, up. Okay, so this thing's got a lot of power, for sure, and it feels amazing. Oh, but the problem is, oh, is that I don't have any control under my feet. There's no, the stock pads don't get me locked in at all. And I'm very much a gotta be locked in kind of guy. I'm not gonna get any crazy times on this. As anybody who uses power pads knows, oh, you gotta have them to, to feel safe. I want that, I want that warm hug that oh, power pads provide me. And I'm not getting it right now freaks me out but the wheel itself from a performance perspective my god this thing rips man power comes quick super agile oh, I really want to throw a set of grizzlies on this thing and see what kind of time I can get and to spend more time on it it's the first pagode wheel maybe ever <laughs> except for the monster which I loved when I was a new rider let's hit the big boy oh yeah and time okay it was definitely better than my first run i'm impressed with this thing i'm impressed like i said i need some power pads on it to really feel locked in if you're not about that life then you'll probably love it as is but if you're a locked in kind of power pad person i feel like that will unlock so much potential in this thing because man on a power perspective from a handling perspective it's almost like a class of its own this thing's an absolute absolute betsy Anyways, let's go uh, see how it rides on some uh, urban trails, AKA stairs. Finally, a Bagode suspension system that works really well. This thing is unbelievable. Chance, I don't know what part you had in this, but mwah, down the stairs, no bottoming out. I tried my hardest, 200 pounds, clearing half the stairs, still fine. And even better, going up the stairs, it was the easiest wheel I've ever had or of every wheel we've tested to push up the stairs. It was easier than carrying for the first time ever. And carrying was amazing thanks to the handles being so good. I love it, I love it, I love it. Goose test time, baby, let's go. You know what it is, it's the goose test. We're pretending to dodge a car door. I'm going here, car door, dodge, back into the lane. As DMAR videographer says, let's fuck. Hey, 30. Oh, oh, oh. 30, that's 30. Easy peasy. Ah. 35? Well, you ah. hit. I hit. Ah. I hit. I hit properly. Oh, there's one thing here, one important thing that's wrong, I think. I think this is supposed to be lined up perfectly. Oh, this is harder than it's supposed to be? Yeah. Oh. Hey! 43 kilometers <laughs> an hour! New record! <laughs> 43? Look at that! See it? They won't believe it. Why <laughs> oh, doesn't show it? Yeah, yeah. Where are we going next, Dima? I told you. I know. I forgot. <laughs> I'm too hyped up. Will the Goat Extreme fit inside the Tesla Bronc? It's not gonna fit. <laughs> How much you want to bet, Dima? Bet me your boat. <laughs> How confident are you? Uh... All right. This thing's gonna be heavy. That's kind of close. I'd say it's like closer than ever. Closer than ever. Monster one, I suppose, you know what we gotta do on the both sides. Oh. No. Oh. Even slightly closer. It's so close! Uh, it's so close! Well, I wanna take the bottom thing out. I gotta see. I just gotta see. Can you take that shell out? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh my god. We're gonna take on the It fits! No way! It fits in the I was like, come on. <laughs> it fits. You wow. know, not have to squeeze it in, gotta take out my protective cover, but holy okay. shit. The first for a real size wheel. It wheel. fits. <laughs> Barely. Story of my life. <laughs> Alright, we're taking the lab scene outside here. 
This thing has a super powerful 134 volt battery. Uh, this one's a Samsung 50E cell, but you can also get a 40T. We're not gonna be carrying that one to start. That's 2400 watt hours. Uh, and it actually is the first Bagode wheel to feature a smart BMS. Yay! We've always wanted that. Thank you, Bagode, for listening to the community. Uh, the C40 motor, as many of you know, it's super powerful. On a 12 inch rim, it makes it even more torquey. Uh, it's a 3,500 watt torque tuned motor with a free spin top speed of 110 kilometers an hour. Wow! 130 millimeters of suspension travel is quite a lot. Uh, you're getting, you have two options. You can get the coil suspension or the air suspension and the coil actually comes with two different springs, which uh, will to adapt to your weight level. If you're one of the first five people to order from EVs, you actually get all three suspensions. You get both coils and an air suspension pre-installed. So, um, yay for that as well. The 12 inch rim is supposed to be a 16 inch wheel tire, but it actually measures at 18 inches, similar to the patent. They say it's a 16 inch wheel, but it actually measures at 18. This wheel is the same weight as the veteran Sherman Max. So it's only 77 pounds, not too shabby. It's not crazy heavy and it's, you can tell it's just the build quality is really robust. There's a lot of metal. There's a lot of reinforcements that Chance made. It also is supposed to have a music speaker. We could not find the Bluetooth settings in our, our phone. We're gonna try later with an Android, maybe it's an iPhone issue, but we could not find the device uh, in the music settings. We could not get it to work, sad, because we really wanted to do a comparison test with S19. Also, this wheel is supposed to have special waterproof technology is what Bagode said. Don't listen to that. It's probably more water resistant than other Bagode wheels, but nothing is waterproof. There's no such thing as a waterproof personal electric vehicle. Um, but it might be a lot more water resistant, which is good to hear. Uh, more tests will be needed before we can really tell you if it's actually that water resistant or not. Um, that is all when it comes to the lab scene. Lucas, you were quite, uh, quite quiet this lab scene. It's the brake test. I'm gonna go at 25 kilometers an hour and some other amount, 50 kilometers an hour. I'm gonna stop Ugh. as fast as I can and we're gonna see how quick I went compared to every other wheel we have tested. We'll plot it out nice and pretty for you and we'll go from there. Let's do it. 25 and crack that gold point. Go yeah, dude. Bad. Not bad at all. Here we are. That's horrible. That's horrible. Again, this is becoming a theme with a lot of our videos. I'm impressed with the performance of this wheel. A lot of wheels have been breaking records in one area or another. The extreme is no different on the braking category. We're among the top performers here from 25 kilometers an hour, and we broke the record from 50 kilometers an hour to zero, edging out the V13. It brakes fast. How fast does it race on this track? Let's find out, Bradley. It is time to see how this thing performs on the track, the maneuverability, the way it breaks around corners. Will it beat out the other wheels? Let's find out. I'm ready. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Track test. This thing, uh, it rides and races a lot different than other wheels. I'm in race mode, so the pedals do stay quite flat, and I'm used to like them moving a little bit, which normally I kind of like. Uh, it's taken some getting used to. Uh, this thing, when you slow down, you can pick up speed again really fast. It breaks so nicely around the corners. Um, I'm actually like quite impressed with how easy this thing is to maneuver, considering it feels like my center of gravity is really high. And I don't like that normally. I like to be low to the ground because I worry about speed wobbles, especially at high speeds. But this actually isn't that bad. No, I have had a few wobbles around the corners as I acclimatize to this wheel, but that's normal. It happens on, on every wheel, but I do quite like how this thing rides, guys. This is, it's, it is really, really Ooh, nice. It. Pedals don't push scrape it. when you turn and it's uh, pretty solid. Go. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what my time was. There we go, 103.05. It's not the fastest. You do feel like, I felt like instantly more comfortable on the Patton than I did the Extreme. 
but I can see why people want to race with this wheel, especially on, on trails. This isn't really a track racer, but uh, they handle the corners nicely and they brake beautifully. Well, to no surprise, the Pagoda Extreme absolutely crushed the hill test. I think we barely got nine or 10 degrees from bottom to top. It's a cooler day, but still um, don't think it would make a huge difference. You can tell this thing is not struggling at all, ending up in the low 30s at the very top. I did a couple more runs after and tried to push it a bit more. And the thing I love most about it is just there's no, no drama. Like no matter how much I tried to go fast or slow or change my speeds, it didn't really matter. This thing is this is so far below its capabilities that uh, it just gobbled up any anything I tried to throw at it. So very impressed. Not shocked, but still impressed. Off to you, Bradley. This 2400 watt hour battery really impressed me. I was able to get 85 kilometers of range and start beeping around 11%. That is way above what I thought I'd be able to get, going anywhere between 40 to 60 kilometers an hour. Quite impressive. Wrecking ball time! <laughs> All right, here we are at the wrecking ball test. This is actually a kickstand test to see how strong the kickstand is on the Bagot Extreme compared to other wheels we've tested. Let's check it out. All right, this thing looks like it's cheating, but the kickstand is literally attached to the so low on the body. Um, let's start with like four feet, Lucas. Oh. If, if, are you going to be able to... to, to... <laughs> Wasn't as good as I thought. We okay. need to see if it's gonna. Wow, is I thought I thought it was gonna be wow. five minimum. Wow, I can't believe it failed that. All right, so in previous tests, we're always trying to hit around the top of the power pad. It's not that scientific, let's be honest, but it gives us a good idea of how powerful the. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm laughing as <laughs> you're hurting yourself. I didn't realize you hurt yourself. Oh, I scraped my shin. It's no. okay. Sorry to have to show this to you guys, but graphic content warning from that crash. Oh yeah, patch me up, Bradley. Oh, that's better. All right, what time is it? Light test time. Let's go. So the light right now is extremely dim, uh, probably because this thing needs to be moving in order to brighten up the light. So Lucas, will you lift this bad boy up? Yep. Not spinning, and ready? Are ready? Oh, that's much brighter. Oh, that's pretty bright. Wow. I, I can tell because it's the first time I've actually been blinded for in a while. Uh, 743 lux. Not bad. 745. That's pretty bright. Let's check out the spread here. We're looking at about six feet there. So it's actually a pretty decent spread of decent brightness. I will say I'm being blinded up here. Uh, I know you can adjust it a little bit but you don't want it to be too much lower than that. So I'm definitely being blinded. You're gonna blind pedestrians with this wheel, but it also wins for being the brightest wheel ever. It beats the Sherman Max. Uh, Sherman Max had a much smaller spread as well. The V13 had, a, I believe, a slightly wider spread, but this definitely wins in the brightest light and you're gonna be able to see everything at night, uh, but the pedestrians won't. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this thing, the Bagode keeps pulling out stops, I gotta say. Uh, I feel like it's been a while too. This review's been a while in the making. Shake it off. But uh, pleasantly surprised, you're pleasantly surprised. Yeah, second Bagode wheel in a row. The A2 and yourself. And this one. An EX30, you like the uh, EX30? Ah, shit, that's yeah. true, yeah. Three in a row. Yeah. Well, I hate, I'm becoming a Bagode fanboy. <laughs> Apprehensively. Yeah, I, I loved everything about it. I love the tire, I like the build quality. Uh, it, it was, there's not too much to complain about. Mm. And uh, for anyone that likes to rip trails and I don't know, have that Bagode customization that you get. People yeah. love to mod their Bagode yeah. wheels, right? And you're gonna get that if you're, it's like, I still prefer the patent in terms of rideability. Mm. Um, I don't know, what are, what are your thoughts on the patent versus the extreme? I, I, prefer, think that's the... I, I honestly, I prefer the extreme just wow. because I don't like the patents, like uh, toe cup, the little sh toe things. Oh, okay. Not a fan. Yeah. I've seen that there's like, you know, soft inserts and whatnot, but and I just- You can remove them too. You but... can remove them, yeah. yeah. And, and any wheel that I would have, I would, and that I do have, it's always power pads first, take off whatever the stock pads are, no matter how good they are, and 
at least to date, and then put on some, some power pads. It's my only gripe with this thing too. I just, my toes, I'm not catching into anything. You saw on the stairs, it obviously didn't matter that much, but <laughs> I can't imagine with a fresh set of Grizzlies locked right into my feet, how bold I would get on this wheel. Still prefer the you, S22. Yeah, though. you crushed the stairs yeah. like I've never seen before yeah, on them. the extreme. I was like for blood. I gotta say, I, it rides a little high for my mm -hmm. liking, so mm -hmm. you just, I feel more comfortable on the path because it does ride a bit lower and when you have lower center of gravity, you just feel more stable. That yeah. being said, on the racetrack, it's totally fine. Crushed. So Maybe my favorite wheel to lift and to carry upstairs as well, which is like kind of eh, but if you're going up trails a lot or hitting the same kind of thing over and over, it's, it's nice to have. I love the handles. The handle's great. Now they, they the it. original now that it one. Oh banger my God, dude. <laughs> Four chance. Yeah. Uh, one charge port, which is uh, interesting. That's one of the smaller gripes. Um, but there, there isn't much to complain about. They finally fixed the air suspension, which we talked about earlier mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, that's that's a bit of a wrap up. I don't think there's too much else to say, to be honest. Yeah. The thing uh, shreds. It's to yeah. me, it's the best. It's it outperformed in every way for 16 inch wheels. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would say the Patton has slightly better low end torque off mm, the gun, mm. but this thing, once you get going too, it's hard. Some people ride it, they say the Patton has more torque. Some people say this has more torque. It's I, hard to tell. Yeah. Um, I feel more torque on the Patton. Yeah, I, like, I feel I like I do too. I'm going up a hill, yeah. but I, maybe I just haven't pushed it as hard up stuff. I've pushed it down stuff on this, but yeah, more time will tell. We're patiently, yeah, I would say impatiently waiting to test <laughs> the S16 and the V14 yeah, Adventure. Yeah. Um, the V14 Adventure seems very bold and, uh, dare I say, adventurous <laughs> Ooh, oh. on like what they're claiming it can do. It yeah. seems like it's an actual rock climber, so I can't we'll wait see. to test that. We'll see about that. Uh, we are getting a small batch in that we're getting before testing, which is risky. I know we say we want to test everything before bringing it in. We could not get our hands on a, a pre-production sample of the V14, no matter how hard I tried. So unfortunately, we have to wait for the production ones. Um, so if you do order one, uh, know that it's the first batch and we haven't tested it yet and there's always risks with that. That being said, the Extreme is available to order now. Limited quantities and we're, I think we're the only company that's giving you all three suspensions when you order. That's right. We mentioned Head to our... euc.com. Oh, yeah. Get or, yours. Or evs.com. Or evs.com. Yeah. Double E-V, double E-S. It's EVs. <laughs> Okay, nailed it. <laughs> Professionals. <laughs> oh my god. Got all that?